Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome for the very first time to Forts with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to Lathrix being incredibly late to a popular game yet again. Apparently, I am just not allowed to realise games exist which I'm going to enjoy until everyone else on the platform has already covered it. Either way though, this is Forts, and honestly, I haven't seen all that much about it. All I know is it looks like one of those games I used to play in school when I was meant to be doing work, but really polished and really awesome looking. The idea is that you build a fort, you place down minions, and you destroy the enemy fort. Simplistic, lovely, and hopefully with a lot of explosions. So right now, the version I'm playing is the version available on Steam. There have been a lot of versions in the past, and it seems like there are constant beta versions, so if I'm not in the most up-to-date version, I do apologise. This is the version here, so let's get straight into the campaign itself. I'm actually really looking forward to this after playing so many games like From the Depths and Avorian, where you have to be incredibly creative. Hopefully this is still creative, but a little bit simpler. I want a game I can just chill. So, normal difficulty, because I don't really want myself to die straight away, and I do want a bit of a challenge. The first mission is Black Gold. From the RTFM Network. This is Fax News with Sal Vo. With the world's derricks falling silent, the global superpowers are on the hunt for undiscovered oil fields. Here, on the helicarrier ESS Extravagance, rapid deployment forts are being made ready to defend any new reserves found. Their portable reactor technology allows the forts to be upgraded in the field with weapons such as high-velocity cannons, plasma beams, and laser-guided swarm missiles. Missiles? Yes, These please. These bases are capable of packing a hefty punch. However, black penguin oil geologists are rumored to have uncovered evidence of one last motherload of oil. If found, it could be enough to keep the Eagle Empire going for another decade. But with the Dragon Army and Iron Bear Alliance also coveting new resources, the race is on to be the first to claim the motherload. This is Salvo at the Eagle Empire Fort's basic training ground, reporting for Facts News. Can I just say that the Iron Bear Alliance sounds far cooler than our little eagle? Missiles need a sniper to paint a target and launch. Thank you very much there. Welcome to your first fort, recruit. As your drill instructor, I will be getting you up to speed with fort commanding. First things first, navigation. Hold the left mouse button or middle mouse button, okay. So all of the simple stuff you are to expect, there we go. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So I'm assuming if someone destroys our lovely reactor, and I do love the style of the game already and did not expect a cinematic. Once again, it really reminds me of the old Flash games I played maybe 10 years ago, but really well done, and I do love that. For instance, Plague Inc. was my all-time favourite game for a very long time, and that's just a better version of Pandemic, really. In fact, it's openly... Hello, it's openly inspired by that. Add to the fort by grabbing the middle of a strut and pulling it out. Oh, okay, I was wondering where the menu was. Any particular size? I'm going to build it wonky to be annoying to everyone. There we go, now everyone is irritated. That's it, you can also add struts one at a time by selecting joints. Oh, I see. Well, that does make sense. Cool. Okay, can I actually edit the things I've made. I'm actually annoyed at this myself now. I managed to annoy myself. Let's just destroy everything and make this nice and pretty. Is there a faster way to do this, or is this the only way? Now, I am going to be a lot more noobish than a lot of you watching, and pretty much all other YouTubers, so please bear that in mind and give me a little bit of slack. There we go. It's a beautiful house. Now connect to the fort above by adding more structure. Oh, I didn't even notice the huge fort ahead of us. This is going to look very wonky and incredibly unstable. 
Uh, there we go. Great building style. Well, good to know we are being inst instructed by someone who's blind. By connecting to this fort, we now have complete control of it. Well done. Oh, I, oh, I see. So, likely there will be other forts in the field we wish to control during a battle. Aha! We have menus! Pricing. Low-cost material. Let's arm the fort. Click on the machine gun and build it on the front. I'm assuming something like there. There we go, sir. Left click on the machine gun to select it. Practice your aim by shooting these barrels. Oh, the aim's going to be manual. Okay, that's something I didn't expect. Kaplow! And down you go. I love the fire effects. Again, simple but polished. I like that type of style. <gasps> An enemy! My recruit was using those for target practice. Of course, I am the other one's recruit. Ah, Sergeant Scattershot, leaving things lying around where they can be destroyed as usual. Is this a regular problem he suffers from? Just leaving things to be... De Ooh, here's a miner. Ha, never mind, we've got a live target now. Great, murder is clearly the option. Oh, Lord. Okay, he didn't actually let me fire back. What a jerk. Build a door to protect your machine gun. Uh, like here, I suppose. Something like that. Actually, first of all, let's do a brace. No, no, no. Brace. Background bracing. Hides devices passing... Okay. It's weird. It wouldn't let me place that completely straight. Oh, well. Not too much of an issue. That takes forever to build, though. So I imagine the more hardy things do take a lot longer. That certainly makes sense. I've done. Oh, then rebuild the machine gun. I can't read. You can open the door by shooting through it. Okay. So ideally then I should... Ooh, he, he has a nice explosive barrel over here. Fire. I said... Oh, I see. So once you press it, then it opens. Okay, I see how that works. So can I just, like, do... I was hoping I could aim over here and still fire. Is that not the case? There it goes. Goodbye. Look at that rickety thing. Destroying. Well, we just murdered our own teammates. Well done, us. We should be happy with this murder. The music's been really good so far as well. Honestly, the world is better off without that fort. It's like it was made to be destroyed. Funny that. That was just mean. This isn't over. I don't know why he has the accent now, but he certainly does. Next! Everything explodes, even when you get points. That's glorious. Pay attention, recruit. This training mission covers essential collection and storage of resources, air defense, and attacking with mortars. Good. I like mortars. Let me introduce you to the the reactor, recruit. Hello, reactor. I'm going to call you John. These bad boys power the fort and provide basic resources. Protect them at all costs. This is the reactor's health. Where oh, there with the giant green arrow. Once damaged, it cannot be repaired. Hello, little miner. Your hat is too big. It's adorable. Okay. The reactor produces metal and energy. So we have a source of unlimited metal. I mean, you think most of the world's problems would have been solved by the fact you can create matter out of nothing, but okay. Additional metal is mined from ground containing metal deposits. Oh, I see. That's you. Select the mine and place a new one. There you go, you now have a friend. To increase our metal storage capacity, we can build a metal store. On the platform in the fort. Oh, of course, got us place things anywhere. Can I? That would be overpowered. Uh, let's put it there. Wind turbines require wind to operate efficiently, so I guess put that on the top and stuff. That's made a very vulnerable area. Well done! High efficiency will generate a lot of energy. So what do I even need energy for, is my question. Select a battery, it will allow to store more energy, but why do I need energy? Now add a third mine and raise a 100% wind turbine. Right click to scrap something if you need more metal. 
Where are you? Okay, mine. Is there any hotkeys for these? I imagine hotkeys will make things a lot easier. There we go. How do I know if it's 100% or not? Okay, that's 71%, so I need to make it higher. Okay, so... I'll scrap you then for now. I said I will scrap you for now. Could I... Just build directly upwards? I, I feel this is going to be incredibly frail, though. Well, let's hope that's high enough then, I suppose. Oh, I want to be that high. Wow. Okay, then. So we are building up on both sides then, because otherwise this will not be strong enough to support anything. So, like, there. My lord, that's going to be massive. Yeah, this is going to just fall over. Okay, really should have put a mine there so I could put other things up here so it's a bit less, well, like it wants to fall over. That seems reasonable and in no way structurally problematic. That just wants to die. Remember, wind turbines need height. Yay, I've got it. Well done to me. Aren't I a special dumpling? Ah. We've been hit. How rude. Repair damage using the R key or right mouse button. Okay, so... Repair everything! Repairing consumes both metal and energy. Ah. Now they're on fire. Put them out! So, same deal again. Just press R and it will slowly do that. Aha! How do you like my mortars? This is payback for what you did to my fort earlier. My voice changes with every time I talk. It's a horrible, horrible disorder. You never know when to quit, do you, Scattershot? My recruit has ten mortars with your name on them. I'm also talking like you now. Here they come, friend. Use the machine gun to shoot down incoming shells whilst I reposition the mortar. Click. I wish there was an auto fire. Hey, I actually hit it. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God, their aim is terrible. Like mine! Never mind! I hit the target! Oh, crud. I mean, my aim was okay there. It just scattered too much. You could have say, you could say it was a scatter shot. There we are. There we are again. That could have been better. Screw it, I'm shooting at them. Oh. They have metal which <laughs> completely negates our shots. Well, that was intense. I managed to get a heavy mortar, build it on top of the fort. But, I... but, no. I have this on top of the fort. One second. <laughs> oh dear lord, this is terrible. <laughs> So that counts as being blocked. Um, can I just remove this? There we go. Now select the heavy mortar. Oh good, I can actually have a little aiming thing. Uh, let's try and get into the center. It keeps on moving by itself because of how much I'm rocking. So I have to sort of think about that. That should hopefully hit their generator. Or core, or whatever it's actually called. The big heart thing in the middle of the fort. There we are, we're damaging it. What's a few mortar shells between friends? And... Dink! There it goes! A glorious explosion. I wonder if you can actually just build- oh, of course, I wonder if you can just build these and ignore that that's there. That's a question I really should have answered myself. Curse you! I was only messing around, you didn't need to destroy my entire fort. Too bad, Scattershot, you should have thought about that before throwing around mortar shells. Knock it off, you two. We've got reports of rich oil deposits in Africa. You recruits are being shipped out. Time to bring Africa some freedom. Yay, I even get a little badge and a achievement called Grasshopper. Theatre unlocked. Africa. 
Destroy enemy force, which looks amazing by the way. Create a machine gun group. The Derek is undamaged. That's a bonus. The enemy has the goal to move in on our territory. Stop them from destroying our oil Derek. Oil Derek, rather. We hereby claim this... I, I don't know how to do a voice for you, Mr. Dragon Army, sir. We hereby claim this oil deposit in the name of the Dragon Army. You disgrace yourself with this aggression. I promise I won't do that again. I just couldn't help it because of his tiny little mouth. Give me a break, buddy. We're going to build a fort here and make you pay for... Really? That's what we're doing here now. Okay. The enemy are building a fort in our territory. It's armed with a mortar. They are building a sniper here to defend it. Group your machine guns. Control left click to destroy the enemy fort. Try to protect the oil, the oil derrick from mortar fire. Left alone, the machine guns will shoot at mortar shells automatically. Oh, that's good. Here's a tip. Aim for this damaged strut to set off a chain reaction. Okay, seems reasonable to me. For the Eagle Empire. Uh, so what do I do now? Control and left click. Threat. I am pressing control and left clicking. Um, other control? Why do you no work? Oh, I'm I'm dumb. Okay, I get it. I see what he's trying to say. Oh, if we said the fire, well, poop. We've already failed or something. So I guess if I'm not selecting them, that's when they will fire at the mortar. Okay, let's restart this because I was just derping up hardcore. Very simple wording. I didn't really think about it too much. Can I add an extra machine gun, perhaps? Yeah, leave that one there, and that one can act as a protector for the oil derrick. In fact, what I could do... Let's see, go to... Oh, I can only make weapons right now. Okay. Just wait until this one's finished. Then that can act as our defender, and you two can fire at that. Just keep on firing as rapidly as possible. Ooh, we are about to overheat. In fact, we did overheat because I'm a dum-dum yet again. Just me proving my usual Lathrixian glory. I was going to say story then, but I don't quite know what that would mean. Yes! Thank you! And down it goes. You see, that's so much easier when you actually read the thing. The problem is, I am dyslexic. And I read that as group using control and left click. So, yeah. I'm blaming dyslexia for this one. I get at least one blame on that per episode. Great work. With this kind of performance, we'll advance to the next theatre in no time. So what do we even use this oil for? For upgrades later on, or is it just a matter of, look how good I am? I mean, I'm okay with that, honestly, but I, I like games with upgrades. Upgrades make me happy. We've locked horns with the enemy and they're proving stubborn. Help our mortars overcome this enemy stronghold. So for this one, we need to destroy the enemy fort, the main goal as always, and our first two shots need to be accurate for the second oil drop, and finally, prevent the machine gun from being rebuilt. Your persistence is honourable, but ultimately futile. My machine guns are like chopsticks plucking flies out of the sky. Are we really going down this route with this fellow? Nothing an Eagle Empire sniper couldn't fix. A small enemy fort is guarding this oil deposit. Unfortunately, they haven't left any conveniently placed explosive barrels around. Truly, they are tactical geniuses. I also love how even this one is rocking around like that. So we have built a mortar team to take it out. But of course, they have machine guns, thus rendering us sort of useless. Yep. We have a sniper named John. Unit deployed on this outpost. Build up your fort to connect to the sniper and take out the enemy machine guns. For the Eagle Empire! Now one thing I could do, I imagine... Is there any way to like easily make it like completely straight? Oh, I thought maybe I could bind to the floor. Is there- Oh, there's only so many bind points. Well, I just learned a valuable lesson today. So, let's just go like this. And just keep on going up like that until we are at the sniper position. And that will be ours, and John will 
adhere to the Eagles. Which sounds like a football team, or soccer team, or American football team, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, let's pew pew. Okay, so... Please hit the target. Fire! <laughs> All of that, and I just miss. Okay, one second. Okay then, try to. Yes, thank you. And then try three. There we go, our first two shots were accurate. The rest now can just be wild misses and it's no big deal. So prevent the rebuild. How am I going to do that exactly? Uh, maybe destroy the platforms they're on, I suppose. We can help that. Or do I have a chance to shoot them as they're being rebuilt? That's a good question. Oh, look, they're actually re rebuilding those positions. Oh, is that a sniper thing coming up? Well, it's gone now, and yes, I think it was. Oh, dear. I wonder how long they have until it's actually built. Oh, did that count? I'm not sure. Did that actually pop up in time? It looks like it may have. Mortars, be quicker about this. Seriously. I do very little damage against actual buildings. I do some damage, though, by, by the looks of things, at least. Just keep on hitting the same area, I suppose, to help out. Faster! Oh, ah, being rebuilt. Two places. Bad. No! I'm failing. No, I want all three stars of this. I demand three stars of this. Nope. We are redoing that, and I am preventing the machine guns to be rebuilt. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Obviously. Yay, Lathrix! Victor! Where's your honor now, Dragon Boy? We made short work of you just then. Ha! Ah, I see you've mastered basic weapons. Our army of engineers has been working on upgraded weapons. See you in the desert, Grasshopper. Insert evil laugh there. I clearly saw one get repaired though. Maybe it got repaired after the core took full damage. Maybe that's what happened there. I'm not really too sure. Anyway, we are now in the Middle East. But this one. Ah, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I didn't get to read it. I didn't realize clicking this instantly started it. The enemy has destroyed our tremendous bridge between two forts. It really was tremendous. Repair it and use the sniper to exploit any vulnerabilities to the enemy fort. Destroy the enemy fort, sni uh, snipe, or snoop, as I just said, both mortars. Prevent bridge from being broken. That's a lot of goals, and I'm afraid I am actually all out of time for today's episode as I have been recording this in my spare time just to see what you guys feel about it. Honestly, I'm loving it so far. It's exactly what I thought it was from the little, well, from the few things I actually saw, and that's awesome. I love games like this, which are simplistic, but more complex than they originally look, with such a nice level of polish. So the devs on this game have done a fantastic job. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Forts is a series you wish to see continued in the future, because honestly, I really want to continue this campaign, and it really helps out when you show you show your support to a channel. Clearly, it's far too late at night right now. I'm going to get some sleep and render this video. Really, really hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye.